Hi everyone, GoFries here, and this video is a follow-up video for the Intel Core i7-9700K performance. I know you guys are a bit um, uncomfortable with what you saw in the previous video regarding the i7-9700K's benchmark for gaming performance, but uh, this is what it is. I know I said the AMD's uh, 1800X scored highest when I give them points, well, those are based on, based on the benchmarks I did, but if I were to run more, who knows, it can sway other ways. Other things that you need to note are like, for example, the processor configurations are all different. 8 cores, 8 threads, 8 cores, 16 threads, and 6 cores, 12 threads. And then they have varying clock speeds and all that. Then, bear in mind that these games have been updated, like especially like games like PUBG, they always get updated. So, the the, the performance will sway here and there, but rest assured, I'm not kidding you guys with the, the, the benchmarks. And some said I may have a dot chip or wrong settings. How could you go wrong when you are uh, just running UFI defaults and lo loading the XMP profile? So, and in this video, we'll have a look at the rendering benchmarks and you will know that the processor I have, the system I have, is not a dot system and the settings are all right. All right, so let's move on with the benchmarks. So on the screen here, you see the, the, the parts I'm using. Again, it's the same thing as the, the, the previous video. I'm using the ASRock Tai Chi models for the board, the XPG RAM, and um, for this one, I'm using, well, I'm not using that Zotex gra graphic card, okay? So let's have a look at the benchmarks right now. In Cinebench R15, we see that the 9700K does better than the 8700K, almost catching up with the 1800X and overtaking the 1800X once it's at 5GHz overclock. In Blender BMW CPU test, the 9700K is just 3 seconds behind the 1800X. Pretty good for an 8-core, 8 8-thread 8 CPU that's up against an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. The 9700K running at 5GHz overclock takes a huge leap against the 1800X. In Handbrake, I converted a 1 minute 4K video to Full HD, and even on stock settings, the Intel Core i7-9700K leaves both the 1800X and the 8700K far behind and gains a little more lead once overclocked. Now for the other details. The 9700K on stock typically runs at 4.6GHz when all cores are on load, and I saw the wall draw comes to about 165W, and load temperature was at 72 Celsius, cooled by Cooler Master's ML240L. Once overclocked to 5GHz to all cores, the wall draw reaches almost 210W, while the temperature reaches around 78 Celsius on load with vCore pumped to 1.35. All right, so that's it for this video. So what do you guys think? I think the rendering performance of the i7-9700K is superb. Um, I read on the forums and Facebook, some people were um, saying that how can an i7 be without hyper-threading and all that. But as you can see from the results, despite having um, no hyper-threading, it has two additional cores and higher boost clock, and that definitely helps when it comes to getting rendering work done. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.